We've seen previously that the derivative of x to a constant a is equal to a times x to the a minus 1. This is the power rule. We've also seen that the derivative of a positive number a raised to the x power is equal to ln a times a to the x. So we know how to take the derivative when the variable x is in the base or when it's in the exponent, but what if the variable's in both the base and the exponent? How do we take the derivative of x to the x? To differentiate functions like this, we'll need to use the technique of logarithmic differentiation. To find the derivative of x to the x, I'm going to set y equal to x to the x. Now we want to find dy dx. Since we don't know how to compute dy dx directly, so let's take the natural log of both sides. Taking the log is often a handy trick when you have a variable in the exponent that you don't know how to deal with because the properties of logs allow us to bring that exponent down and multiply it. Now we have y implicitly defined in terms of x, so let's use implicit differentiation. We'll take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. And now we should have no trouble taking the derivatives because we've gotten rid of the awkward exponential expression. So the derivative on the left of ln y is 1 over y times dy dx. And the derivative on the right, using the product rule, is x times 1 over x plus 1 times ln x. This simplifies to 1 over y dy dx equals 1 plus ln x. So dy dx is going to equal y times 1 plus ln x. And replacing y with x to the x, I have dy dx is x to the x times 1 plus ln x. This technique of taking the log of both sides, differentiating, and solving for dy dx is known as logarithmic differentiation. And it's enormously useful whenever you have variables in both the base and the exponent. Here's another example where our variable is in both the base and the exponent. So as before, I'm going to set y equal to the expression that I want to differentiate and compute dy dx. First, I'll take the log of both sides, use my log rules to bring my exponent down and multiply it, and take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. On the left, I get 1 over y dy dx. And on the right, I get 1 over x times the derivative of ln tangent x, which is 1 over tangent x times the derivative of tangent x, or secant squared x. Continuing with the product rule, I need to take the derivative of 1 over x. That's going to be the derivative of x to the minus 1, which is minus 1 times x to the minus 2, times ln tangent of x. Simplifying the right-hand side, I get 1 over x times 1 over sine x over cosine x times 1 over cosine squared x minus ln tan x over x squared. Rewriting, I can flip and multiply to get 1 over x times cosine x over sine x times 1 over cosine squared x minus the second term. Canceling one copy of cosine and rewriting in terms of cosecant and secant, I get this expression. I still have to solve for dy dx, so multiplying both sides by y, I get the following. And since y was equal to tan x to the 1 over x, I can rewrite everything in terms of x. The technique of logarithmic differentiation is most useful when taking the derivative of an expression that has a variable in both the base and the exponent, like in this example. But sometimes it's also handy just as a way to take the derivative of a complicated product and quotient, like in this example. 
Now we could take the derivative here just by using the quotient rule and the product rule. But it's a little easier to take the log of both sides. And the reason is that when we take the log of a product, we get a sum. And the log of a quotient is a difference. And sums and quotients are a lot easier to deal with. So in this example, the log of y is equal to ln of x plus ln of cosine of x minus ln of x squared plus x to the fifth power. I can even bring that fifth power down because that's another one of my log rules. Now it's much more straightforward to take the log of both sides. On the left, I have 1 over y dy dx, as usual. And on the right, the derivative of ln x is 1 over x. The derivative of ln cosine x is 1 over cosine of x times negative sine of x. And the derivative of ln x squared plus x is 1 over x squared plus x times 2x plus 1. I'll solve for dy dx and get y times 1 over x minus sine x over cosine x, that's the same as tangent x, minus 5 times 2x plus 1 over x squared plus x. Now I can just rewrite y in terms of x and I'll be done. Again, I didn't have to use logarithmic differentiation to find this derivative. I could have just used the product rule and the quotient rule. But logarithmic differentiation made it computationally much easier. In this video, we learned how to take the derivative of expressions that have a variable both in the base and in the exponent. And the idea was, first, to set y equal to the expression we want to derive. Next, to take the natural log of both sides. Next, to derive both sides. And finally, to solve for dy dx. This process is called logarithmic differentiation.